So to begin with, we are trying some of this uh, Flex Seal. Let's see how it works on the roof. And rubberized roof patch leak stopper. Try that out, see how it does. It has a 10 year warranty, but I hardly think it ever lasts that long. So we'll see how it works. Okay, I'm going up here on the camper to see what Mr. Kevin's a doing. And uh, make a little clip here of working on the roof here. This is it pretty bad shape, Mr. Kevin? Pretty hopeless. Pretty hopeless, huh? Uh, there's a professional on the job, so don't worry. Okay, now what would you go tell me something about that video you watched, the last one I made? I thought I heard a cow inside your camper the other day. Oh, well, I was trying to get in there, but I, I run, it, run it off and then the uh, Next thing I know, there was a rooster sitting up on top of the camper, and I don't know. We don't have any animals around here. I don't know where they come from. I saw, I saw chicken tracks up here in my fresh paint the other day. Gee whiz. I might have to talk to the neighbors about all this. Well, I guess it's going to take a good bit of work here to fix this dude up up here, but we need to get them leaks sealed off. Hi y'all, this is Butch. If you remember in one of our previous videos, we showed you the uh, corners of the 29-foot Coachman travel trailer where the water had got in and rotted all the wood out in the corners and the, uh, it, the corners just had big bulges in them. Well, here's one that we'd repaired. And I will take you around back here and show you one that hasn't been repaired. There was three corners. That was in pretty bad shape. Here's the last one that has to be fixed. As you can see, this corner right here is the aluminum and it has this much gap in it where it's just spread apart from water getting in there and and uh, bulged out somebody had uh, put uh, previous owner had put put their foam spray in there now over here is one that we just finished today it was just like that if not worse Here's a corner we done today. Looks real good. Now let's go up on the roof and take a little peek at some of the work we've done up here. If I can get up here without falling off the ladder. Of course it has leaves and stuff all over it now, but we put fiber stripping in there to keep it from splitting and cracking open. And clean the air conditioner all up. So it come a good rain today and it did not leak. And right here on the sides, this is Flex Seal Spray, which is the first time I ever used it, but uh, put that on the screws down through there. So we'll see what the outcome is. Uh, stay tuned for the rest of our videos and subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And we will be starting soon inside here. 
We've already got half the floor out. And you can see here where it had leaked. It ran down and brought the walls. It's got to have some new wall studs in there. And there's some of the walls that we tore off. We're going to put new new sheet metal down in here. And on top of that we'll put uh, inch star foam. The star foam is resistant to water if any more moisture ever gets in here, which we hope it don't. Also going to put treated uh, floor joists in and treated plywood. So if it ever leaks, it's not going to hurt anything. It looks like we have a little... We have had a leak up here, but it's fixed now. And that wall's a little bit damaged. Probably put cedar planking in here. Make it smell good and... And, uh... Oh, it takes a little work, but we'll get her done. Stay tuned. Okay, here we are back in the old camper, uh... Watching Mr. Kevin do some heavy maintenance here, putting new sheet metal down in the, on the floor. After we get that down, we'll put the new plywood in. You want to say anything, Mr. Kevin? Uh, he don't have time to talk, I don't think. He's so busy. So, uh, we will keep you updated on everything here as we go. Make some short clips here and put them all together. Some of the new metal. And Mr. Kevin's putting pop rivets in it there. He's working so hard he's speechless. Right, Mr. Kevin? He is, he's speechless.